adding an antenna to your TV is beneficial for several reasons. The channels are free, there's typically lots of them, and the picture quality from an antenna is even better than what you get from a cable or satellite feed. So, whether you're cutting the cord or just looking for more content, it's a worthwhile investment. In this video, we'll talk about the different types we carry here at Apt and who they might work best for. If you're watching this on YouTube, we'll have a link to them down below in the description. Before you get started, you'll want to go to the FCC's website to check the reception map for your area. This will give you an idea of what channels broadcast to your area and how strong of a signal you should expect to see from them. It's not exact, since things like buildings, hills, trees, and even the materials used in your home can cause interference, but this will at least help you determine a starting point. So the first option you've got is the basic non-amplified type. These are generally going to be for indoor use and have a reception range of about 25 to 30 miles. They're the least expensive type and they're a good choice if you live near a broadcast tower. They'll simply plug into the back of your TV and you can mount them behind the TV or on a wall or for the best reception on an exterior wall or in the window. If you live more than 30 miles from the closest broadcast towers, you want to take a look at the next type. And that's amplified antennas. And these come in a variety of styles. The one thing they'll all have in common though is they need to be powered somehow. Some can plug into a USB port on your TV and others need to be plugged into an electric outlet. There's models that look like the non-amplified units I talked about before, some that can sit on a piece of furniture, and others that can be installed in your attic or outside your home. These are going to be capable of pulling in less powerful signals and generally show a range of up to about 75 miles. These types of antennas are better for people who live out in the suburbs and more rural areas or may have more interference between their home and the closest broadcast towers. Finally, there's rooftop antennas. These come in both amplified and non-amplified versions. These generally require more work to install, but they do give you the best opportunity to tune into most channels as they're installed at the highest point of your home. But these have become almost a worst case scenario type of option since indoor antennas have gotten so much more efficient at finding weaker signals. These aren't listed on app.com, but they are available to order over the phone. If you still have questions about antennas or need help selecting which one is right for your home, be sure to contact one of our experts by phone, email, or chat online. We're always happy to help. Thanks for watching.